I was asked to present a testimonial and how apropos that the theme this month is welcoming because I wrote a lot about my experience being welcomed into this community. Chris and I first brought our family here on April 8th, 2012. We were assaulted at the door <laughs> by a startlingly vibrant atmosphere, buzzing with energy and vitality. We were greeted by the sun goddess herself. What's her name? Donna Pratt. <laughs> who immediately whisked our three children off to RE. Once we sat down and realized what an auspicious day we had chosen to attend for the first time. It was the second Sunday of Ron's candidating week, the day everybody's showing up to vote. Well, of course, there's going to be a lot of vibrant energy. Well, we'll have to see if that holds up, right? That first Sunday, we met lots of really great people and were really impressed at how outgoing and friendly everybody was. Kids seemed to have enjoyed it. They'd met some new friends and seemed happy enough. The following week, the subject of church Going, up, going to church came up, and Morgan, who at the time wasn't even three yet, excitedly asked, are we going to my church? <laughs> my church. She'd been once, and it was her church. And the other two kids were pretty much in agreement, so we came back. There weren't quite as many people the following Sunday, and while the energy wasn't quite at the fever pitch it had been the previous week, it was still really high and positive and friendly. Are you new? You said. That week and subsequent weeks, we found common interests with and were embraced wholeheartedly by the community of parents of RE kids and the Sawara camping crowd. Gwen, Jan, and Laura reached out and pulled us in, and soon it was like we'd always been a part of it. As a matter of fact, one of my strongest memories of that, of that welcoming moment Gwen had been talking to me a couple of the, the previous couple of weeks. You know, she kept checking back in, you know, this kind of, you know, I want to talk to you. And uh, she told me about Sawara, and, uh, you know, I love camping and wanted to hear more about it. And she said, I'm going to be gone next week, but I'll have Jan and, and, and Laura talk to you. So the next week, the moment I stepped over, what's that room, the Goldblatt room? I know that as Fellowship Hall from when I grew up, but anyway, I walked over there, and from two separate sides, Laura and Jan approached me in this like conspiratorial <laughs> huddle and it, you know, I felt like I was in some illicit transaction. They said, we heard you like camping. <laughs> and that was, that's the hug, right? The embrace, the radical welcome. We were invited to social activities before we were asked to be on committees. <laughs> it might seem like a no-brainer, but it's remarkably refreshing. We kept coming and Quilkey found a place of respite a community of like-minded individuals who actively, genuinely embrace diversity. A community of UUs who live their values in the world. And it shows. It's humbling and inspiring. This past year, I've had the opportunity to connect with other members of the congregation in meaningful and uplifting ways. Last spring, I regularly attended the Sacred Poetry Workshops led by Bob Wallace. It was a profound experience that I would love to expound further upon, but I really don't have time today. Over the summer, Jane Paul put together the Choya Chow Time program, giving participants the opportunity to get to know new people over the dinner table hosted on a rotating basis. We made some really, really great new friends that we might not have otherwise crossed paths with. In very short order, we found here at MVUU a community that is home to us and continues to try to better itself which is a virtue that I embrace fully. And we get to be inspired by Ron on a weekly basis. What's not to like? Mm -hmm. Financially, we've pledged at the level of 3%. And I consider this to have the purpose of maintaining the foundations of the congregation. But what's more important to me is that I get to give of myself to help build this amazing community. I joined stewardship at Tom's uh, invitation for, with an eye for exploration, actually. Exploring that, is er that area that has been coined joyful giving. Joyful giving being not that which we give out of obligation or duty, but because it is what flows from our very souls. I'm inspired by what others do to build the world around them, both in this congregation and the world in our, in our greater world community. This congregation is filled with energetic people, 
you who care so deeply about the world and give generously of your time and talent. I want to hear about that. I want to meet you and hear about your heroic and humble efforts to save the world or just build it from the bottom up. If you don't want to talk about your heroic or humble efforts, please feel free to tell me about somebody else's because I really want to hear about it so we can celebrate it. Thank you.